What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's Propy J and welcome back to October 12th, Monday. Back to the future. Welcome, welcome, welcome. When we left off, um, Doc and I escaped from Edna. Edna. Um, and we are now in an alternate time. Are we in an alternate timeline? I can't remember. An alternate timeline, I think. Uh, where we're here at the Creators Expo, which is where Edna convinces young Doc uh, to first hatch his little his little plan that eventually takes over Hill Valley, which which is a big no-no for us. We can't have somebody taking over Hill Valley, so we're here to try and stop it. And from memory, we need a car. All right. Um. Courthouse of the future. Oh, the clock tower and I stuff. I wish the courthouse did look like that in 1981. What? Press button to experience future Hill Valley, circa 1981. Okay. Weird. I don't think I've visited that timeline yet. Yeah. Button. Pleasant dreams, Hill Valley. And the expo would like to remind you that you can find everything Whoa. you need and to transport your the rain. dreams into reality. Oh, and how and the part of the rainbow. Whoops. Oops. Our of Hill Valley Valley I'm breaking everything. Right. Uh, sorry, dudes. You broke your thing. Courtesy of Hal's Hardware and the Collective Imagination of Mankind. Could this be Where'd the diorama thing? Where'd the piece roll to? Oh, why'd they take a diamond? Hang on. Is this where, like, I have to try and bribe him? To take me where I need to hey, go? Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's back. Hey, how you doing? Uh... Man. Stay out of trouble. That's what I'm trying to do. Can I give him that as a bribe? To have the I truck? I give a diamond to him. He might get the wrong idea. Maybe. Or maybe he'll let you take the car. No keys. I'll have to find my wheels somewhere else. God damn it. My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Break what you like, Mr. Crockett. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I'd better go see what's keeping him. Um. No, I'll check him. I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the 11th hour. Okay. Oh, not another word. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. <laughs> Heavens, you've shaved off your hair, but Carl Sagan? I'd like a word with you, if I may. All right. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. Hey, a wedge. This is probably this is bad, dog. Isn't this a bad thing? Let's go somewhere where we can talk privately. Is this not a bad thing to do? Go. Oh, I'll keep her occupied till you get back. I don't know. All right. Now can I skate on? Can I skate off now? To. Doc's place. Hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. All right. Nice. All right. Hopefully he's not uh, Emmett. Too bad when I get back. What the? F Why is Kid Tan in there? Again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. Okay. The wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. Okay. okay. So now what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps. Ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really what happened to your other stuff? Whip, isn't she? Well, yes, but she's got my best interest at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but <laughs> make yourself at home. Thanks. Thanks. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere yeah, about that. six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. 
Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! Jesus, calm down. Convince Edna that he isn't a model citizen. Hmm. How am I going to do that? I'd be careful of that if I were you. Why? Well, the rocket fuel experiment must have stripped one of the teeth in the hand crank. As a consequence, if you turn it for more than 10 seconds, it... Ah, uh, yep. ...turns out in an electric shock. Great. What's the blinky? What's the helmet? How does the mental alignment thing work? Here, I'll show you. All right. Hey, the test subject wears this mind mapping helmet, which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. Okay, uh -huh. and in English? When I turn on the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended yeah. to provoke a series of positive or negative responses as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that? As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter, which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. Okay. All I see is a bunch of holes. Yeah. Well, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe as I place your mind map into the MAM. Into the MAM. Okay. Lay about. Is that machine hey. calling me a slacker? No, your own physiological responses did. Maybe he should take the test. So this machine takes those little cards and tells you whether or not someone's a hmm. good guy or bad guy? Kind of. Actually, the helmet does all the work. The mental alignment meter is just a glorified arcade machine. So why not just go with the cards? Yeah. And it says that people respond well to flashing lights and snap judgments. I can't argue with that. Uh, smart, Every yeah. Time I kiss her, She's kind of smart. Lights and lose all sense of judgment. No kidding. Hmm. What's this? The mind map cards from the dozen before the expo. Okay, yeah, yeah. Why? Let's speed this along. Speed this along. Really. What's this typewriter do again? During a mental alignment test, it takes messages from the mind map helmet and turns them into punch cards, hmm. like the one for Mr. Tannen over there. Seems complicated. Actually, it was all rather easy to put together. Okay. Once Edna gave me the idea. Sounds to me like you should be working on harder problems then. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I've got to get back to work. Can I... Hmm. Hmm. Can I not get him to take the test? Or can I take my card? Is my card in my inventory? No. Uh, Could you tell me how this mental... Of course. Now, pay attention. Subjects put on the mind mapping helmet, which I activate with this radio switch. Okay. The subject is then... Okay. Okay, no. I get it now. Okay, I know what I gotta do. Where's the radio switch? Where's the radio switch? Radio switch. Nothing happened. Well, that button advances the slides during the mind mapping test. It only works while the test is running. Test switch. Hmm. Let's do some things to piss him off. Like the generator. Alright. This is all I need to do, right? Is is do a bunch of stuff that makes him Careful. Don't let all the flavor escape. Okay. This is actually a kind of clever way. Of getting him to think about uh, things in a shit way on a test. It's actually kind of clever. Alright. That's gotta be a bad card. That's got to be a bad card.
Jason. If I want Edna to break up with Emmett, I'll have to make his map more like Kid Tannen's. Ah, <sighs> boy. All right. Tannen's mind map. If Emmett's map looked like this, I bet Edna wouldn't think he's such a model citizen. Okay. So do I get him to have the hots for Trixie instead? Like when it's her picture, that's the one where I start the music. All right, that's uh, I've fried the machine. Hey, I think your mind map test is broken. Oh, oh that switch just keeps shoring out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. <laughs> Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. All right, that's got to be the one. That's got to be the one. I followed it specifically. Thank Christ for that. Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. All right. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Let's do it. Do the old boy switch Rooney. The old body okay, switch Rooney. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey! What? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model Ooh. citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. Yeah, well, she don't forget that. Anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. Yeah. For now, I better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. All right, convince Edna that he is a slob. All right, I need help with this. Edna seems really impressed with Emmett, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there's got to be something in Emmett's lab. Pick up a jar of oil. Ah. Uh, uh, not what I wanted. Oopsie daisies. Hey, Emmett, I've got a. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Ah, uh, sorry, oh, man. Jeez, I'm sorry. Y your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong. What? No, oh, God. When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote, so I spent a few hours whipping up this. Oh, no. God damn it. Whoa. What was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. God Emmett, damn it. Fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute. Does Whoa. that mean your suit's going to dissolve in 12 hours? Hey, gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And Jesus. that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Ah, uh, yeah. Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Jesus. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. Oh, uh, that goes my plan. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna need these. Uh, click on the cleanser shower? Cleanser doesn't seem very portable. It isn't, but this is. A perfume bottle? Yes. No. I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. Ah. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. Right. What if I replace that with a bit of uh, body oil? Like so. I don't want to get that covered in any messy oil. Hmm. What the hell is that? What? Oh, he's going to forget Sorry. it. I, I thought I saw a tarantula. So after 12 hours, your cleanser just... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Battery acid, really? I want to say... Uh, hmm. Can I drop more oil on him? 
Uh, Emmett? What? Your jacket's got a little, um... No, oh, no worries. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I need to exit? <laughs> what? I was that just sound. thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short, sometimes brutally so. So why not seize a day and grab your happiness while you Oh, he's going to propose. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Oh, I was saving God. this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. Yeah. Hey, no. I'm going to ask Edna to marry me right now. No. Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Oh, God. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. Great. And I owe it all to you. You're Great. Welcome. Shit. Convince Edna to Emmett's a slob. Alright. I'm sorry that I keep using these, by the way, the hints, but... I really don't know. Emmett's cleanser is good for cleaning of all sorts of sticky substances. Why don't you test it on something? You've already seen how good it is on motor oil. Why not try it on motor oil? Okay. Hmm. All right, well, Damn it! I've got it. Right. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. You're a big girl. Okay, so it needs spraying uh, oil in the expo. Okay. New Valley of the Past. All right. It says to use it here. So let's try it. It's a good thing I did this before Emmett's 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. So, Doc needs to know that it's ready. Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. It's so cool that they got Chris Floyd back to do it. on your end. All right. About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, what am I supposed to look for again? A signal that it's done evaluating the time circuits. The analysis can take a while. Be sure to let me know when the light turns green, and I'll take her out for another test run. Okay. The DeLorean. Doc said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Hey! The light's green. That means Doc Good. could take the DeLorean out again. All right, it's green. Hustle, you fucking bustle. I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Yes? It's green. About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yes. Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the systems check out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short errand, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. All right. How's it go now, Doc? Come on. How'd it go? He doesn't look happy. When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Frankly, it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. A little bit, Still, I can imagine. Time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find. Okay. So after all that, it didn't fucking work. God damn it. Alright, um. Hmm. Doc's trip aged the formula a few hours. Not enough to turn it to acid, though. Ah. 
That's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm on the same page now. Uh, make sure the white's oh, green. No green light yet. Oh, come on. No green light yet. I ain't gonna be able to get a green light for a while. Excuse Just a second. Much up. All right, come yes. on, go, go, go. Ahead. Uh. About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the chronometric. Yes. yes. The light's still red. The analysis can take a while. Be sure to let me know when the light turns green for another test run. Ah, oh, that could take so long though. All right, you know what? I'm gonna leave that episode here because I've been recording for like an hour and ten minutes. And I cannot figure out what the fuck to do next, so I'm going to need to go off and do a bit of research and then come back. So it's probably going to be a shorter episode um, today, which I'm really sorry about, but um, I need to figure out what the body hell to do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. Make sure you go check it out if you haven't already, guys. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Poppy J and peace out. Oh, I never ever heard such an ugly, pitiful sound. Soon you'll see what I have found while you're running me over and bringing me down to some peculiar level where if anyone speaks, they don't speak, they shout.